Towering above the Cascade Range, Mount St. Helens commands attention, its snowy summit a familiar landmark for those living nearby. From afar, the volcano seems peaceful, almost eternal, quietly standing guard over the green forests and winding rivers below. But beneath this calm surface, a restless energy stirs, a powerful force that never truly rests. The mountain's tranquility is an illusion, concealing the immense power brewing deep inside. The events of May 18, 1980 are etched into history, a day when Mount St. Helens erupted with devastating force. Ash blotted out the sun, forests were leveled, and the landscape was transformed forever, a stark testament to the volcano's raw might. What if that power were to awaken again? The very thought is enough to send a shiver down your spine, reminding us that nature's fury is never far away. This isn't just a distant memory or a tale from the past. The ground beneath Mount St. Helens is always moving, always alive. Small tremors and subtle hints reveal the ongoing activity below, a constant sign that the giant is only at rest. With its legacy of sudden, dramatic eruptions, Mount St. Helens stands as a powerful reminder of nature's unpredictability and strength. Its rugged slopes and scarred terrain tell a story of both destruction and rebirth. Wisps of steam curl from the crater, drifting into the crisp mountain air, evidence of the intense heat and pressure still simmering below. Today, teams of scientists keep a close watch on every tremor, every puff of gas, every subtle shift in the landscape. Their vigilance is vital, offering early warnings and helping us better understand this restless giant. The real question isn't if Mount St. Helens will erupt again, but when. The story of this mountain is far from finished, and its next chapter could begin at any time. By exploring both its violent history and its ever-changing present, we come to appreciate the incredible power of our planet and the remarkable resilience of life that returns again and again after disaster. Mount St. Helens shows us that even after destruction, renewal is always possible. On the morning of May 18, 1980, the Pacific Northwest awoke to a picture-perfect day. The forests were alive with green, the air was crisp, and Mount St. Helens stood tall and silent, its snowy summit glistening under the sun. No one could have guessed that this peaceful scene was about to be shattered forever. In nearby towns, people went about their Sunday routines, unaware that history was about to erupt right in their backyard. For weeks, the mountain had been restless, shaking with earthquakes and venting steam. Both scientists and locals watched anxiously as the activity ramped up, tracking every tremor and every plume. The earth seemed to be sending a warning, but no one knew exactly what was coming. At 8.32 a.m., a magnitude 5.1 earthquake struck right beneath Mount St. Helens. In a split second, the entire north face of the volcano collapsed, triggering the largest landslide ever recorded. Millions of tons of rock and ice thundered down, forever changing the mountain's profile. Then, without warning, a sideways blast of superheated gas, ash, and rock exploded from the mountain at over 300 miles per hour. The force was staggering, flattening forests, snapping trees like twigs, and melting glaciers in its path. In moments, the landscape was transformed by nature's raw power. In seconds, a vibrant wilderness was reduced to a gray wasteland. Lush forests vanished, replaced by a barren, lifeless expanse. Rivers clogged with debris, and wildlife disappeared in an instant. A towering column of ash shot 15 miles into the sky, turning day into night across the region. Ash rained down for hundreds of miles, blanketing towns and cities, disrupting flights, and bringing daily life to a halt. 57 people lost their lives that day. Homes, roads, and vehicles were destroyed in the chaos. Emergency crews rushed in, but the devastation was overwhelming. The eruption left scars on the land and on the hearts of everyone who witnessed it. Mount St. Helens' eruption was a wake-up call, a dramatic reminder of nature's unpredictable might. Scientists studied the disaster closely, gaining new insights into volcanic behavior and the importance of early warnings. The world watched, gripped by awe and fear, as the mountain continued to rumble. News of the eruption spread like wildfire, capturing attention around the globe. The disaster sparked urgent conversations about preparedness, resilience, and the respect we owe to the forces of nature. 
The scars of that day are still visible, etched into the mountain and into memory. Decades later, the crater and the battered landscape stand as a testament to May 18, 1980. Nature is slowly healing, but the evidence of destruction remains for all to see. Today, Mount St. Helens is both a symbol of devastation and a call for vigilance. It serves as a living laboratory for scientists and a memorial for those who were lost. The story of Mount St. Helens reminds us to respect our planet's power and to always be ready for the unexpected. To most people, Mount St. Helens looks peaceful these days, its slopes often hidden by mist, the air still and quiet. But for scientists, that calm is just an illusion. Beneath the surface, the volcano is anything but asleep. What looks serene on the outside is actually a landscape of constant, hidden activity. Deep below, the mountain is alive with motion. Teams of experts are always on the move, tracking every subtle sign the volcano gives off. With a mix of cutting-edge technology and hands-on fieldwork, they keep a close eye on Mount St. Helens, hoping to spot the earliest hints of change. Seismometers, ultra-sensitive devices scattered around the volcano, pick up even the smallest shakes. These tiny earthquakes, invisible to us, can reveal magma shifting far beneath the ground. Each vibration is a clue, helping scientists map the movement of molten rock deep below. Gas sensors are just as important. They track changes in volcanic gases like sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. When these gases spike, it could mean magma is rising and an eruption might be on the way. By collecting and analyzing these samples, scientists get a better sense of what the volcano is planning. Up in space, satellites orbit the Earth, snapping high-resolution images of Mount St. Helens. These pictures let scientists watch for any swelling or bulging, signs that pressure is building inside. Even the slightest change in the mountain's shape can be a crucial warning. Every tremor, every bulge, every puff of gas is a piece of a much bigger puzzle. By connecting these dots, scientists work to unravel the complex, ever-shifting story of Mount St. Helens. This constant watchfulness isn't just about curiosity, it's about keeping people safe. By sharing their discoveries with local officials and communities, scientists help make sure everyone nearby is ready for whatever the volcano might do. The mountain might look calm, especially in the soft light of dawn, but it's never truly silent. Underneath, it's always sending signals, always shifting. That's why scientists stay alert, ready to raise the alarm at the first sign of trouble. Their dedication and vigilance are our best protection against the unpredictable force of Mount St. Helens. Volcanoes move to a rhythm that stretches far beyond a single human life. They shift between long, quiet spells and sudden, dramatic eruptions. Mount St. Helens is no different. Its calm moments are just brief pauses in a much bigger story. Deep below the surface, magma is slowly gathering, refilling the volcano's chamber. Pressure quietly builds, setting the stage for the next eruption. To get ahead of what's coming, scientists study both the volcano's history and the latest data. Even though we can't predict eruptions with total accuracy, understanding these natural cycles helps us get ready for whatever the future holds. The more we discover, the better we can live alongside these incredible forces of nature. The eruption in 1980 proved just how powerful and destructive a volcano can be. If Mount St. Helens erupts again, we could see pyroclastic flows tearing down its slopes and dangerous lahars, those fast-moving volcanic mud flows sweeping across the land. Ash could rain down covering entire towns and turning day into night. These threats put lives, homes, and critical infrastructure at serious risk. Forests and rivers would suffer, and wildlife would be forced to flee. Recovery wouldn't be quick. It could take years for the region to bounce back. That's why emergency plans and early warning systems are so important for everyone living nearby. The story of 1980 is a powerful reminder Nature's force demands our respect and our readiness. In the aftermath of the 1980 eruption, the blast zone was a scene of utter desolation, a vast gray wasteland. But nature wasted no time making a comeback. Just weeks later, the first green shoots broke through the ash, while insects and seeds rode the wind into this new world. 
Gradually, lakes and streams cleared, opening the door for aquatic life to return. Elk, deer, and birds soon followed, playing a vital role in rebuilding the ecosystem. As they moved through the land, these animals scattered seeds and enriched the soil, speeding up the recovery process. The landscape was forever altered, but nature found ways to adapt and thrive. Erosion and poor soil made survival a challenge, yet over time, the land began to transform. Today, what was once a barren wasteland is now a flourishing ecosystem, a true story of resilience and renewal. Mount St. Helens stands as living proof that life can rise again, even after the greatest devastation. Mount St. Helens isn't the only volcano to bounce back. History gives us even more astonishing examples. Back in 1815, Indonesia's Mount Tambora erupted with a force 10 times greater, unleashing the infamous year without a summer across the globe. Ash blotted out the sun, crops withered, and famine swept across continents. But even after such overwhelming destruction, life slowly crept back onto Tambora's slopes. Hardy pioneer plants took root in the ash, setting the stage for forests and wildlife to make their return. Now, nearly 200 years later, Tambora is blanketed in green once again, teeming with a rich variety of plants and animals. The marks of the eruption are still there, but nature's power to heal is unmistakable. Stories like these show us that, while recovery takes time, it's always within reach. Volcanoes command our respect, reminding us just how dynamic and powerful our planet truly is. The 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption was devastating, but it also opened the door to a deeper understanding of volcanic risks. Thanks to better monitoring and preparedness, we've been able to save lives ever since. The way Mount St. Helens and other volcanoes have bounced back is a testament to nature's incredible ability to heal. Even after the worst destruction, life returns, giving us hope for overcoming our own challenges. Living in the shadow of a volcano calls for respect, constant awareness, and a humble attitude. By learning from past events and staying prepared, we can create safer, stronger communities. Volcanoes remind us to honor our planet and to work together for a future that's both safe and sustainable.